Hello, I didn't see you there. Well, while I have you, let's talk about Lizzie McGee. Lizzie McGee was an American game designer who acquired the patent for the original version of the game Monopoly, called The Landlord's Game, in 1904. The game was meant to teach the progressive idea that all people should benefit from the wealth derived from land. The game originally featured two different sets of rules, one anti-monopolist version, where all the players benefited from the creation of wealth, and one monopolist version, where players could destroy each other through the creation of monopolies. But about 30 years later, some dude came along, said he'd invented the game, and sold it to Parker Brothers for $7,000. That was a version that celebrated unfettered American capitalism. Last month, Hasbro, the company that purchased Parker Brothers, released a new version of the game, Monopoly Socialism. They're calling it a parody of the classic. So we had four Washington Post employees play it. Enjoy. Who else died? <laughs> Bob. Good riddance. Each player chooses a token and places it on go. I'm going with the typewriter. Okay, that's fun. I like that one. I think I want the TV. Pocket watch because time is money. Phonograph. Yeah, you go. Each player receives 10 contribution chips in their chosen color. Why are there roses on there? The first person to place all 10 of their contribution chips on projects in our community wins. Wait, is there legit nothing about money? We don't have any money. No one starts the game with money. So. <laughs> So all payments come out of our shared community fund unless you start receiving a living wage and earning income through your developed projects. $1,848 into the community fund because that's the year that the Communist Manifesto was published. Do you guys have a- Explanation okay, point. You're screaming at me. <laughs> you didn't tell me that I was gonna be doing math here. Can we not have this part in? The oldest player goes first. Roll both dice, draw one or two chance cards if the action die allows you to do so. Okay, I'm on the community shuttle. What does that mean? You may pay 50 Marxist bucks to take the community shuttle to any project between that stop and the next stop. I'm going to the Open Minds Library. Is it worth taking all of the money right. from the community? Away from us. Yes. For yourself. Well, yes. who is that to stop me? Nobody. Just know that my kids are going to be hungry when you take that. Except their minds will be opened by the library. And their stomachs will be empty. Yeah. But they'll learn to grow food because <laughs> they'll go to the library. I am going to pay for this. I will take your money. Chance card. Pay the bank $50 from the community fund. Looks like no one's eaten. I'm starting to notice a trend here that the bank just eats all of our community fund <laughs> money. We get nothing in return. Well, we get heat, I think, now. And we'll be able to keep our minds open. You keep working despite that circular saw injury. <laughs> Nine good fingers are all you need. <gasps> Potholes on Main Street. No! Pay the bank $50 from the community fund. Mm. We all benefit. Do we? I don't have a car, so... My question is, is this fun? <laughs> Not really. I'm having fun. Dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am taking the town theater. I paid the bank from our fund, so thank you guys, but it is mine. Wait, you pass go. So 50 for all of us. Let's go. This is, remember, this is our living wage. But everyone hasn't been around go, go yet. Exactly. Right, but we all get it when we one person because goes around because it's a community. Yes. When you oh. win, we win. I actually need that money back because I need to give you change because now we have to pay the community fund $5 from our living wage. One, two, Ooh. So I don't own the hospital then. You don't own it, the community owns You're it. You're managing it. Three times two, six. That's good math. Potluck Community Center. You know what, I actually think that this is a good idea to auction off. The starting bid is $20. I want to make this easy, let's go $590. Can we see if we even have we that even money have as a community? Money. I've got the 90. 300, 500. Well then there goes the majority of everything that we have. This is what we have left. Yeah, but, that is but, Venice. but guess what we get? Potluck Community Center. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who won? Our community has a hospital. It has a potluck community center. And don't forget about the heating. And you know what else we have? 68 whopping dollars in our community fund. No one got all 10 on. I have four on. I have three. But you know, we're really all winners. Money means nothing, but I have 65 nothings. I have no money because that's how unselfish I am. Because I wanted us to have this potluck community center. Didn't you try and stick money down your shirt at one point in the game? Can we get a rewind flashback? So I need to put that. 
In my mind, the most successful parodies are based on reality, and this is so far from being based on anything. There seems to be absolutely no consistency whatever message they're trying to give here. Monopoly is conflating the Communist Manifesto with Marxism, with socialism, with no-tip vegan restaurants. If the point was to, you know, share and just, you know, be the community person, which I was, I think that it did a great job. Are you sure this isn't the millennial? It kind monopoly? of feels like it. There is a quinoa shop, right? And there's a no-tip vegan restaurant. I'm not interested in that.